What I want to do is have a quick review of Descartes' rule of signs. This was on section 5.7. Um, it was on problems 37 to 39. We've covered it briefly when we talked it before in class, but some of you might not quite remember exactly. The other stuff from 5.7 is very familiar, just the synthetic substitution and division. But Descartes' rule of signs was a little bit quick, I know, so I want to go over one problem. This is problem number 38 from page 384. Number 38 is one of the homework problems. If you want to do this along with me, that's fine. If you want to watch and then do it later, that's fine too. Okay, if we look, we have a function. Function f of x is equal to x to the fifth minus 3x cubed plus 8x minus 10. x to the fifth minus 3x cubed plus 8x minus 10. Now, what we're going to do is look at two things. First is the sign changes when we have the f of x. That means what happens to the sign in front of each of these terms? Does it change between one to the other? Okay? So remember, we'll go from this front here to this one. Notice it goes from a positive to a negative. That means we're going to have one sign change. If we go from the negative to a positive, we have another sign change. That's two. Finally, when we go from this one to here, we have a positive and negative. That's three. Okay? Now you'll notice this is not in standard form, well full expanded standard form. We don't have to worry about the x to the fourth term and the x to the second term. Don't worry about that. With synthetic division and substitution, you have to. You have to put those in. But with Descartes' rule of signs, you don't have to. Just make sure they're ordered from highest to lowest. You don't have to put in the missing terms. This is one, two, three sign changes. That means that the positive answers positive solutions can be 3 or 1. You can subtract by 2 until you get down to 0. 3 or 1. We can't have negative 1 solutions, so just 3 or 1. Okay. Now, second part of Descartes is looking for the negative solution. These are the positive real solutions or rational solutions. Let's look at the negative rational solutions. What we're going to do is look at f of negative x. Now, if we replace each one of these x's with a negative x, that means that we're going to put a negative sign inside our exponents. That means that any power to an odd number, x to the fifth, x to the third, x to the first, is going to change signs. Even ones don't matter, because remember, x to the fourth, if we put a negative, it's still going to be a positive. When you raise negatives to even powers, they're positive. Odd powers, when you raise negatives to odd powers, then they're negative. So we'll just change the signs in front of any time we have an odd number exponent. x to the fifth is odd, so now it's negative x to the fifth. Now, x, negative 3x to the third is odd, so instead of negative 3x to the third, it's plus 3x to the third. 8x is x to the first, so that's odd, so that's going to be negative 8x. And then minus 10, keep that. Right, that never changes. Notice we have to change the sign on all three of these because they all have odd powers. If we had a squared term, you'd leave the sign the same. Now, let's count the sign changes this time. We're going to go from the first one's a negative to a positive. That's going to be a sign change. That's one. Second one, go from positive to negative. That's two. And a third one, no sign change this time. So there's only two. Three positives or one. 2 or 0. So negative solutions, negative solutions are going to be 2 or 0. Okay? Now let's put this in a table form. So if we do a table, we could do the positive solutions, the negative solutions, and the imaginary. Okay, imaginary solutions. So, if we don't have a positive or negative rational, it has to be an irrational or it has to be an imaginary. These will be the real ones. Okay? Let's take a look. So if we have positive, we have three positives and two negatives, how many imaginaries can we have? Well, we know, we know that we have five total solutions because it's x to the fifth. So if we have three of these and two of these, we have to have zero imaginaries. Well, what if we have three of these and zero of the negative? So three positive, zero negative. That means that we have to have two imaginary roots. Last one, let's look at, well, two last ones. We have one positive, one positive, and then we have two 
negatives, that means we're going to have two imaginary roots. Now what happens if we have one and zero? So these are all the combinations here, four combinations, two and two. This means we have four imaginary solutions. Okay? Now you notice that over here, these irrational and these imaginaries, they have to be even numbers. Okay? You can't have a one or a three because remember, we had that theorem that said that if you have one of the imaginary or irrational pairs, you have to have the other imaginary, say, irrationals as well. Other irrationals or imaginaries. So if you have zero, two, or four, or six, you can't have one, three, or five. So when you use Descartes' rule to see what kind of solutions you have, positive, negative rationals, and imaginary irrationals. Now, again, compare first just f of x itself. Look at the sign changes. One, two, three. So 3 or 1. If you had 5, it would be 5, 3, or 1. If you had 4, it would be 4, 2, or 0. Then plug in and change the signs of any of the odd-numbered exponents. In this case, we changed three of them. Now, when we do sign changes, we have 2. That means that we're going to have 2 or 0. If we had 4, we'd have 4, 2, or 0. Then we have a table now of our possibilities. Three positives, two negatives, zero imaginaries are irrational. Three positives, zero negative, two imaginaries are irrationals. 1, 2, 2, 1, 0, 4. They all add up to 5. They have to add up to 5 because of the fundamental theorem. So now go back to page 384. This is on page 384. 37 and 39 are two that you can do. The answer in the back of the book, all you do is the same procedure. This one and this one, the positive, the negative, and you compare the possibilities. Don't forget, 3 or 1, 2 or 0, 4, 2 or 0, 5, 3 or 1.